So welcome everyone to the next video I'll be doing on the Alpha Dungeons. So in this one I'll be healing the Underrot as Resto Shaman. So yeah. Um, I'm doing it with just some random pugs again. I just need to give him Torrent. So it seems as though he's pulling everything. I'm just going to use Healing Tide here just so everyone gets healed. I'm going to spam Healing Waves. Just going to pop Ascendance here and heal everyone up. Healing Surge. Yeah, probably not the wisest decision to pull that big. Just gonna use Link here. I'm not sure why he pulled that big. That's like unhealable. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know whether it's our damage and they should have died or. Yeah, I'm not sure what I could have done differently there. I think that was just the tank being Rambo. Or whether this dungeon is stupidly overtuned. We shall see. I'm going to put down my healing rain. So I don't know like why we are dying. Honestly, to tell you the truth. So I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna spam healing surges on them and hope we don't die. I'm gonna use healing surge. So I'm just gonna put down healing and just hope they get healed. Heal the monk. Spam spamming chain heals. So it seems that this this route is just stupidly overtuned because it's hitting me like a truck. So just out heal. Chain heal. Because even when I popped Ascendants, we were still getting stupidly uh, wrecked by it. So she used Chain Heals. So yeah, the talents I'm taking is Undulation. Uh, I'm taking this because I use it a lot in its current form. And on, um, on Live, where, you know... Your next healing wave or healing surge increased by 50%. You get a real good use out of it, so yeah. So it seems we're just taking passive damage from like everywhere. Like this damage is. This damage. Can't. So I'm not sure if it's me or if it's my haste. But as you can see, he's just getting absolutely chunked. Like I can't, you know, I'm spamming everything I can. I can't heal more than my healing such does in terms of burst healing. I'm just gonna use healing tide just so everyone gets healed. So I'm getting hit by dark omen, so I'm gonna have to shoot it. Just chain heal so everyone gets healed. So now we're on to the next one, Elder Laxiera. So I'm rooted. Just pop BL just so it goes quickly. Hopefully I don't get locked out. Just gonna pop Ascendance here and Spirit Walker's Guidance just so everyone gets healed. Put down Earth Shield on the tank. Just gonna use Link here. Like that that's just not it's gotta be interrupted, like
like she was doing 6k damage a second like I can't heal through that so I'm not sure if this this dungeon or if it's me but to me that just seems unhealable in its current form Heal everyone up. Put down my totems. Put down the healing ring. Creeping rock. So it seems you gotta dodge that because that was the thing which was doing huge, huge damage earlier. So I think she splits now at 50. So I'm just gonna pop a defensive here. So it seems everyone's focusing on one. Ah, so it seems that you've got to dodge that. And if you don't, you'll literally be one shot. So creeping rot is the one shot. And if you don't dodge that, you'll just die. So every place they're focusing is just a death trap. So they're doing that rot, which is basically a one shot. So you get it as I get it now. You just gotta dodge the creeping rock. So I'm not sure if it is literally just as this dungeon is. But the pugs don't seem to be talking, which is a bit worrying. So it just seems that that creeping rot is a one shot, and if you don't avoid it, there's nothing you can do. It does seem a bit overtuned for normal, but obviously this is, this will happen. And that's probably what it will be like on Mythic. Just give him Riptide, he'll level up to full. And off we go again. Gonna keep up my stacks of tidal waves. Time for a sacrifice. Put down healing rain and my totems. Rip tides, so I have stacks. So you wanna dodge that rock. Blood mirror, so gotta get ready to heal everyone up. Gonna pop a sentence and heal a move. Gonna get ready to use Link just so no one dies. So good old Link. Whoa! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That boss, that mechanic, Jesus Christ! That hurts a lot. Just shield everyone up, heal everyone up. Give them all riptides. What? So it seems you just want to save BL for that bit so you can just chunk them all down. But now I've got CDs back up, we should be good. Go. It seems like a, it's a good boss, but fucking hell, it's overtuned. As you can see, that's dropping a. Um, that's dropping a. Like a, it it's a legion appearance, but it'll obviously be different when it's 
when the dungeon's out, because obviously this has just literally come out, I think, today, or if not the day after, the day before, I mean. Jesus Christ, I think that, that I need to get my dispel out. Yeah, I did. Rip the boys. Gonna put shield down and healing tide. And heal up the boys. It's just spamming healing tides. So yeah, the reason I've the talents I've taken, I always take echo of elements just so I get more healing stream totems out. Just means I'm gonna be healing more over time. But yeah, it seems as though that them first few mobs were overtuned because now these guys aren't doing as much damage and I can easily heal through them. Because before I'd pop Ascendance and, you know, Spirit Walker's Grace and everything like that. And I literally just would not be able to out heal the damage. They were doing like 10k damage. It was crazy. It seems these are more definitely, you know, tuned to it. So a Nature Locked. Use Chain Heal. Pop. Riptide, heal myself up. So it seems that these mobs are untankable. It's just gonna healing surge him. Ah, um, arcane locked, it's bad. We'll probably die here. Just heal this guy up. I think he's tanking in his meta with leech. Run with him. Just heal him up, heal me up. Seems I can't heal that off. Put this totem down. Uh, put down my healing rain. Put my shield on myself. He's got back a meta up so he can heal all along. Gonna put Riptide on the tank when he's here. It's not here yet. Heal up the DH. I've got a sentence back up now, which will be good. And I can BL for the next boss. So I'm just gonna eat some foodie. So I don't know if you can pull the boss now or if everything pulls with the boss, kind of thing. Guess we'll see. Heal the tank up. Seems we pulled a decent amount here. So I'll just get ready to pop Ascendance. Yeah, I'll pop Ascendance. So that's why I took Ascendance as well as the last talent, because I just think it heals. heals way more than all the others, all the other alternatives. And it's just, yeah, you get more healing for. You get more bang for your buck. So you want to get out of that gas as well, because that seems to be dealing a fair amount of damage. So it does, yeah, it seems that we're clearing out everything before we pull the boss. Just going to get ready to put down that healing side. Get ready to link as well. Seems like we're pulling big. Lick down and heal everyone up. Christ on earth, it seems them slugs are doing huge, huge damage. Like, them slugs are doing so much damage, I can, heart can't even heal through it. I think that they pulled a bit too much there. It's like these slugs are doing so much damage. These guys are just so, 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 so. These guys hit so hard. 
But in here you can mount up, it seems. So I'm just going to quickly mount up. Oh, the tank's dead. Mount up and run. So it seems as though there's two routes you can go down here. You can even go that one or that one. Don't think it makes a difference too much. It might be easier to go down this one because obviously it's quicker to the next boss. I think I might dismount me now. No, not yet. Can you ride the whole way? Oh, you might be able to ride the whole dungeon so it's not that long of a run. So it seems he puts down this stuff. We've got to eat it. Or if he tries to eat it. So charge. So he places more down. Heal him up. Chain heal. Rain, chain heal, and spam healing surges in the tank. Just use my riptides quickly. So it seems a pretty simple boss. I didn't really see any of the mechanics, but it seems when he charges, he drops these little goo things. So see what happens when I stand on one. Don't forget, anything that mat matters if you stand on one. It seems currently. Also got some hands. No, nothing wrong with the boss. So the next, because I made a few, I made a video a few days ago on me exploring the dungeon. So this next bit's kind of like elementals and skeletons. So yeah, quickly do this boss. But I'll end the video here and I'll make a part two for the next two bosses, just so the video doesn't get too long. So yep, like and subscribe if you want to see that, and head over to that one.